morning and welcome. It's the 24th of May and it's just after eight o'clock, which is the London Open. And uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for subscribing to me and or giving me likes. Uh, really much appreciated. And uh, we'll start as ever with the Oud USD. A little bit of a fall this morning in the Oud. Not too surprising. <clears throat> we are coming up uh, to um, major resistance and or turning points. And you can see it is actually struggling at this point. Uh, I'm going to give this a couple of days before uh, I get back in. Um, just because of this figure here. Uh, nearly 25,000 extra longs on the commitment of traders. Now, uh, th this has only come back 20 pips. Um, it isn't really um, that big uh, a drop. And um, we can see uh, strength on the dollar. So, um, and that's the only thing that's stopping me getting in. We've actually crossed the trend line on the RSI. Um, uh, just make that a bit bigger so as we can see uh, so that's a nice cross there uh, like I say this is the only uh, problem that I've got with it so uh, I'm not desperate to take a trade it does look like a nice trade uh, I watched it go up uh, yesterday to this point here you know had it not been for this I would have been back in but uh, I I'm just giving it a couple of days see what happens uh, the euro US dollar Again, a little bit of strength on the dollar. It's fallen. Uh, we've got a nice position in at the top there. I can put a stop behind that a bit later. Um, and uh, we have uh, this nice um, short position uh, on the commitment of traders. Uh, I'm just hoping, well, I'm, I'm almost convinced that this is going to fall. Can't quite tell when, uh, but it, it seems to be getting a bit tired now. Uh, so um, we'll see how we get on with that a bit later. Uh, Euro JPY, same story. Uh, we're short. Um, I really should have taken profit when it went down there. I'm kicking myself that I didn't. But, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Uh, we've got the gap down here to close. Same with the previous chart. Um, but that, that's about 600 pips down. <clears throat> That will be quite a nice tumble. Uh, we are expecting a bit of strength in the uh, Japanese yen uh, later this week. Um, so there you go. Euro, New Zealand dollar. There's been a bit of strength in the New Zealand dollar, which has been a long time coming. And th this uh, fall here, I think, I think this is about 200 pips, which is, uh, you know, there we go. That, yeah, that's that's about 200 pips. Now that makes the Aud USD look uh, look tame. <laughs> you know, it's not moving very quickly at all. Um, as I said yesterday, um, it wouldn't win some race or other. But um, yeah, that's quite a big drop we've got there, and uh, we're obviously looking to close the gap and maybe even move a little bit further. Uh, pound USD. We're expecting a bit of weakness on the pound and strength on the dollar. So, commitment of traders. This is just um, short term, of course. Um, we've got a little bit of a green candle today. Uh, if, if I do get a shoot up again to touch this uh, trend line, I might even go in short myself. But this is a swing trade and it's not one that I'd normally enter. You can see the divergence we've got here and here on the RSI. Uh, I'm pretty certain this is going to short, but you know, unless I've got a great position on it, uh, I, I wouldn't really enter the trade myself. S&P 500, green candle again. Uh, we've got the divergence. Uh, we just coming up, nearly touching the trend line. Uh, this is on a weekly chart. Um, and on the weekly chart, we're still below the 69.1. On the monthly, starting to flat out a little bit. And on the daily, well below the 69.1. But uh, 
I'm not surprised actually at this bit of strength. It did have a, a big fall last week, but uh, I would think that was making people very jittery that have got this stock at this high price and maybe uh, if they wanted to sell it, wasn't anybody to buy it. And uh, we might see a big fall in that. Very thin, um, very thin movement on the market. And boom, here we go. Euro, Euro pound. <clears throat> Again, we see a bit of weakness in the Euro um, and uh, we're expecting a bit of weakness in the pound as well. So basically this isn't one of my favorite trades. The, uh, the gap down here has already been closed. Um, I think there's better things to trade. Uh, Euro Swiss franc, I am in this. I think this is better to trade. Um, I took a second position yesterday. Um, I have had both of those in uh, profit this morning, but uh, it's come back on me a little bit. But, uh, you know, we, we've got this um, gap to fill, up, fill down the bottom here. Uh, I think this is going to be a great trade. Um, terrific. Euro CAD. Again, I've got a position short on this. I haven't got it actually written on the chart. I'm looking to close the gap yet again. So uh, we've got divergence here on the RSI. Um, yeah, I'm fairly certain that's coming down. Silver, uh, with the increase uh, in, the, uh, in the pound, in the value of the pound is bottomed out against uh, the basket of European currencies and it did come back a little bit yesterday so we saw uh, a little bit of um, weakness in the price of the silver so um, I, I don't know where this is quite going to go from here um, and it's not something unless I was sure of it it's not something I'd trade right now this minute I've got this nasty feeling it's going to pop back up so um, I'll just keep an eye on that. It didn't reach the blue line on my RSI. A bit disappointing. This is where I would like to sell it, not here. Uh, so we'll we'll like, we'll wait for that. USD JPY. I took a couple of my trades off. I had a trade up here and a trade down there. I took those off last night. Uh, I think we might see a bit of strength in the dollar. Um, so. Um, I'm waiting to see what happens. If it pops up a little bit, I shall re-enter short. USD CAD. Uh, I've actually uh, put a buy on that this morning. Um, it is just a small trade. I was expecting it to get a bit lower as per the commitment of traders. So, um, then, you know, this one, down, if it goes down here, it isn't gonna be hurting me too much. So it's just a trade, a small trade, just for the sake of I'm actually in and I'm not, I'm not going to miss the turn. <laughs> Thank you. Um, USD, Mexican peso. Ah, this is, I'm feeling the pain on this one. Um, I, I, am, I am sort of, I am so sure of this trade and I've held on to it for a long, long time. This is costing me a fortune in swaps. Uh, I would like the RSI to go above the 50. Uh, this is on the daily chart. Um, I'm looking for strength in the dollar and weakness in the peso, but uh, it, it has definitely bottomed out. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gutted the two times it's been up here that I haven't actually taken it. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, Forex never never goes in a, uh, in a straight line and it never does exactly what you think it's gonna do. But we had a, a massive position uh, short on the um, on the Mexican peso last week, um, or even the week before. Uh, I think it was uh, fifty odd thousand, uh, fifty thousand positions extra short the peso. So I'm, I think I'm going to be fairly safe with that. <sighs> Oil. 
I got knocked out yesterday. Uh, it's popped up a little bit and I have just got back in at about uh, where it is at the moment. So I'm, I'm short oil uh, and I've taken a slightly higher position, uh, larger position. We've actually touched my blue line here, which I like to do. Um, and um, stochastics going a bit flat at the top. In fact, the triggers pointing a little bit down. And uh, I have actually just cut through my trend line on the RSI. So um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, there is a major uh, resistance here at uh, about 52.81, 52.80. So um, I think that's going down. And uh, the position I've, I've taken, if it does pop up a little bit, it isn't going to hurt me much. So I'd just like to say, Thank you to everybody for watching and hopefully see you again tomorrow. Cheers now. Bye.